to another episode of The Mash and Drum, episode number two. I am super excited to bring you a Logitech Bowerproof B518, which is my favorite bourbon that I tried last year. That was the B517. Um, but before we get into that, I really want to give a shout out to the whole YouTube whiskey community that kind of that really supported me in my first video. Big shout out to the Scotch Test Dummies. I have my coin here that I won during their uh, 12 hours of boom, uh, coin 320. Um, love you guys, thanks for the shout out, Scott. Um, also wanna thank uh, Scott for my bourbon journey. Um, he's, uh, that's the wrong way from there. Um, big supporter uh, from the beginning. Um, so was Whiskey in the Six out in uh, Canada. Thanks a lot, Rob and Roy over at uh, Aqua, Roy from uh, Aqua Vite, who was, uh, you know, if it weren't for you guys and kind of giving me the inspiration to start my own channel, you know, I wouldn't be doing this. So thanks for the support and making it so easy. So with that said, before we get started, let's go check out this beautiful, beautiful bottle. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now that you've seen a closer look at the, at the bottle, what we're gonna do is go through a little bit of the Elijah Craig Bower Proof uh, bottles uh, and kind of the accolades. Um, in 2017, this guy, the B517, won Whiskey of the Year for Whiskey Advocate. Um, just an amazing bottle of uh, bourbon. It was so delicious. Um, I finished that one, so it's kind of my backup bottle, kind of holding on to that one. Um, this guy there, C917, also won a big award. It won Best in Fest New Orleans Bourbon Festival and also won Best Barrel Proof Whiskey at the same festival as well. So uh, Heaven Hill just really kind of churning out some amazing products. Um, this guy is the A118, which came in at 130.6 proof. So this was hotter than these two, um, but still equally delicious. For me, I still gotta go back and say my favorite of the batch was still the B5 uh, 17, which was just, you know, nectar of the gods type status. And so I loved it. So this guy right here is the B518. And uh, I'm hoping that the Bs bring some good luck because I'm really looking forward to, to trying this one out. Um, the difference with this one is that this, it comes in at a whopping 66.7%. It is 133.4 per uh, for proof. I mean, it is gonna be coming in hot. Um, so for those of you who may or may not know, this is a 12 year bourbon, uh, which is kind of my favorite uh, age statement on a bourbon, if there is one. Uh, 12 years is just, uh, I think bourbon kind of really falls in that between that 10, 12, maybe 15 year kind of category. I think, you know, for me, anything more than that, it gets really kind of tasting like barrel. Um, you know, I kind of want to enjoy the flavors more. So normally they release about three batches uh, every year. You have A, B, and C. A usually comes out in January. At least last year and this year it's been that way. It was the January, the B comes out in um, uh, May, and then C would be the September batch. So I just picked this up uh, last week. Got super excited, and once I saw the proof, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be crazy to, to try this one. That's such a high proof. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, I hate to rip that off, but I oh, didn't have to rip it. It's got that Whiskey of the Year um, uh, kind of marketing on it, which is great. So you can see I completely have not opened this yet. All right. Ah, nice pop. Here you go. As you said, like as I said on the last video, I am a generous pourer, so. Gotta be careful with this stuff. All right. So I know if I stick my nose in this right now, I'm just gonna get all alcohol. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes, let it oxidize a little bit, so I can give you guys a fair uh, review of the nose without kind of burning my nostrils at such a high proof. So sit tight and I'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back. 
Um, this has been sitting for about, like I said, about 15 minutes. Um, hopefully it's opened up a little bit. Um, like I said before, this is a 66.7% alcohol, 133.4 proof. Um, it is pretty hot and um, um, I think uh, letting it sit will kind of help the nose a little bit. Uh, uncut, unfiltered. If I'm looking at it here, I mean this is like maple syrup stuff. It is super viscous, almost like a liquid candy. I mean it's kind of what you expect coming out of the barrel and cut unfiltered. It's uh, it's just looks delicious. So let's get into the nose. So pure heavy, heavy barrel char. Caramel, vanilla, almost like a, uh, it's like a Snickers bar, a smell. Toasted nuts and, and, ooh, there's a lot going on in there. Um, I'm still getting some of the alcohol being so hot. Cinnamon, clove. I mean, the nose is just everywhere. It's not getting, um, I think letting it sit was smart. It wasn't. It's not. You know. It's not burning my nostrils, which I think is uh, definitely a good thing. It's a. Uh, the nose is just incredible, and mm, it kind of reminds me of the nose on the sea a little bit uh, from last year. So, let's have a taste. Cheers, everyone. Whoa, woo, that is hot stuff. I have to give my pal a little bit because it's, uh, you know, it's on fire right now. Um, and there's that, that warmth that I love that bourbon gives you uh, going down. Um, let me go back in for my second sip, as I always like to do before I kind of give you my tasting notes. Um, here we go. Just another, oh, it's so delicious. I'm getting vanilla, I'm getting the, not just the caramel, but burnt brown sugar caramel. Almost uh, like caramel with, uh, like I mentioned before, with, with chocolate mixed in, like a Snickers bar. I mean, it is like drinking candy. Um, but then you got that heat that follows it. And it is oily. I mean, it just keeps going. The finish is just, uh, it's still going. It's, it's, it keeps going. Now I'm getting it like right here, coming down. Mm. It's actually making me salivate a little bit. Let's, uh, let's go in for another sip. Marzipan, almonds. Each sip, each, uh, sip just brings another layer of flavor. Oh, so good. Man, compared to the other three that I've had, you know, I, I gotta say, the one thing that I love about these Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs is each bottle that I've tried does have its differences. It's, it's enough of a difference to keep me wanting to go get the next batch, um, which I think is a credit to Heaven Hill. But it does remain consistently delicious. I mean, you still get some of those common notes, but just enough differences to really make it unique. Um, so for this, it's just a high proof. I did add some, uh, brought some water. I'm gonna add a couple drops of water to it to see how it opens up. So I add about, for the high proof, I'm gonna add about four drops of water. Gonna let that uh, kind of commingle a little bit there. And let's see if it changes the nose at all. So the nose definitely got a little bit, definitely got a little bit sweeter. It got way more, uh, way more just kind of plain caramel and vanilla. It's kind of, it kind of lost that char a little bit. It's not as, uh, it doesn't have as much depth as I, as I had before. You know, and that's, that'll, that probably will happen with water a little bit. 
I mean, instead of the, the char, now I'm getting that almond, um, that almond smell that I got on the palate. So let's give it a taste. Hmm. So the water for me changed it a good amount. I, the water kind of, uh, actually for me, it brought out the alcohol a little bit more. I wasn't getting as much when I was sipping it neat. So the water, um, I mean, meaning it's, it's less harsh, but all those beautiful caramel, toffee, Snickers bar notes that I was getting um, from just drinking it neat all kind of went away. And now all, I, all I'm kind of getting is uh, you know that heat a little bit on the back end rather than all those, those amazing flavors. still so delicious. Such a good bourbon. I mean, if you guys can, if anyone can get their hands on this, I would definitely recommend you picking it up. Um, it's just a delicious bourbon. It, it offers so much in, in depth of flavor and um, uh, uniqueness, and it's just, it'll last you a while. I mean, that's such a high proof. You could, you know, pour a little bit each night or each week or however you may drink, and um, you'll be able to really enjoy it for a good while. So um wanna say thanks for you guys for watching my second review. Um, it's uh, really been fun doing this uh, for only two episodes, but I'm looking forward to do more. And with that said, my next bottle that I'm gonna be reviewing is this guy right here, which is the Whistle Pig 12 year old world cask finish rye. Um, it has some really unique flavors and I'm uh, excited to talk to you guys about it. So, with that said, thanks for watching, and like I always say, it's not about the whiskey, but it's the people you share it with. Cheers, everyone.